everyone. Welcome back to section 1-3. We have a couple more examples. So let's practice that distance formula again. So we're going to find all points on the y-axis that are 5 units from the point 4, 4. So just in words, this is really confusing to me. So again, I'm going to draw the graph. So here's 4, 4. And then we want to find, we have a distance of 5, right? 5 units would be the distance. And they have to be on the y-axis. So here's the y-axis. So my guess is there's probably two points, because I can go either directions. And so what are these points? I don't know, but I know the x value is 0. So it would be 0y, right? And there's two different ones. So let's use the distance formula to find these. Um, so let's call them, I don't know, y1 and y2. If you want to use totally different letters, you could just use a and b, right? If you don't like using y1 and y2. Whatever your preference is, any letter. Probably wouldn't use x because it'll make me think it's an x value. So let's go ahead and use the distance formula. Um, I'm going to actually jump to the version without the square root. Just because um, oops, we know we're solving for the x and y values instead. So x1 minus y, uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared equals d squared. So we'll get, again, we'll get two equations like the last time. So let's do this one and then we'll do this one. So my first equation, we get 5 squared is x, um, we'll call the 4s the x1s. Are these my twos? So we'll get a minus four squared plus, oops, a was the y value. Zero minus four squared, that's my x. And then a minus four for y. So we get 25 is 16 plus a minus four squared. Same thing for the other one, but let's solve this one first. So we get 25 equals 16, and then remember it's a minus 4 times a minus 4. Make sure you distribute that out. It's not a squared minus 16. So 25 equals 16, and then we'll get a squared. We'll get minus 4a minus 4a, and then we'll get plus 16. So we'll get 25, we'll get a squared minus 8a plus 32. So it looks like we're getting a quadratic, so I'm going to go ahead and set it equal to 0 so we can factor and solve. So we get 0 is a squared minus 8a, and then I have no idea, 32 minus 25 would be 7. So let's see, if we can't factor, we'll jump to the quadratic, um, but I think this does factor. So I need a product of 7 and a sum of negative 8. And so for me, I think that's a negative 7 and a negative 1, right? Those multiply to 7. And um, they add up to negative 8. And it looks like it found both solutions for us, right? Because both equations would look the same. So it looks like A is 7. Or sorry, A is 1, right? And B would be 7, the way I drew the image. So those are my two points, 0, 7, and 0, 1 are 5 units from 4, 4. Right? There's no re we don't need to set up the second equation because it would be literally an identical equation and we would get the exact same two answers. So let me know if you have questions. Um, you can always plug back into the distance formula on this side and make sure you get... 
um, five squared if you wanted to check your work. Um, pictures help a lot. So that's it. The next video will be midpoint formula.